At transform boundaries, plates slide past each other horizontally along transform faults. Transform boundaries exist along oceanic and continental plates. In the oceans, transform faults are commonly associated with mid-ocean ridges, and transform faults combine with seafloor spreading to form a zigzag pattern on the seafloor. That zigzag pattern is basically what happens when you try to draw a straight line on a curved surface. Spreading centers are these straight lines, but they are breaking a curved surface. So what happens is that transform boundaries form to help accommodate some of that divergent motion. The spreading direction is parallel to the transform faults and perpendicular to the spreading segments. If we use the mid-ocean ridge in the South Atlantic Ocean as an example, you'll see that spreading occurs along north-south oriented ridges, but the spreading is actually perpendicular to the ridge orientation. Um, the spreading is in the east-west direction. The offsets you see that are oriented east-west are transformed faults, along which the two diverging plates simply slide past each other. These transform faults link the different spreading segments and have the relative motion shown by the arrows. The zigzag pattern of mid-ocean ridges reflects the alternation of spreading segments with transform faults. The overall shape of the ridge mimics the edges of Africa and South America, and so it was largely inherited from the shape of the original rift that split the two continents apart. Continuing outward from most transform faults is an oceanic fracture zone, which is a step in the elevation of the seafloor. A fracture zone is a former transform fault that now has no relative motion across it. It no longer separates two plates, but instead is within a single plate. Opposite sides of fracture zones have different elevations because they formed by seafloor spreading at different times. So they've had different amounts of time to cool and subside after forming. Younger parts of the plate are warmer and higher than the older parts. Transform faults or transform boundaries also link different types of plate boundaries. If you look at most plates, the different sides of the plates will move differently relative to the surrounding plates. Transform boundaries are often transitional boundaries between two different types of boundaries. So you often see um, an, a part of a plate that has a subduction, that is a subduction zone, that is a convergent boundary, and then it transitions into a transform boundary, and then later into a divergent boundary. Um, or perhaps another convergent boundary at another part of the plate. Some transform boundaries occur beside or within a continent, sliding one large crustal block past another, the San Andreas Fault in California is an example of this.